My name is Anna Zuckerman. I'm a researcher with Breakthrough Listen, working in optical study. I was an intern in the summer of 2020, and then I came back after graduating from undergrad last spring to continue working on a project uh, that I started as a REU intern, and then uh, also to start another project. And fairly soon in the fall, I'll be headed to a PhD program in astrophysics and planetary science at the University of Colorado Boulder. SETI is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The goal is to look for any signal in an astronomical sense, so from the sky, <laughs> um, that could indicate the existence of life beyond Earth. That's sort of SETI in general. Optical means in the visible range of light, so the range of light that we could see. So I'm working on two projects in optical SETI. The one I've been focusing on for the last two years. We're developing an algorithm to search for laser emission in optical stellar spectra. So if you think of the spectrum of a star, it's essentially how much light you're getting, the intensity of the light as a function of wavelength or color of the light. And people use stellar spectra for all sorts of things, to learn about the stars, to learn about planets around the stars. For us, anything that comes from the star is actually in the way. <laughs> and so what we're looking for is really high intensity narrow bandwidth signals, which could potentially be a SETI signal. There's various reasons why people think that lasers would make a good techno signature. It would be an energy efficient form of communication, and it's actually quite feasible. So like even with technology we have now on Earth, we could emit and detect lasers at interstellar distances. So it's a very interesting techno signature that hasn't been studied as intensively as, for instance, radio. So essentially what we do is we take the spectrum of a target that we're looking at and we match it to a library of spectra of stars. And then we subtract away from the target spectrum a combination of the most similar library spectra. And so what that leaves behind is just this residual that doesn't have any of the stellar features in it and it only has the signals that are unique to that target that we're looking at. So these really high intensity narrow signals that are not part of the stellar spectrum um, and could potentially be a techno signature. So a techno signature is anything that could be an indication of an extraterrestrial civilization or life beyond Earth. Usually it's considered distinct from like a biosignature, which is still evidence of life beyond Earth, but that's maybe not intelligent life. So that would be like finding oxygen in the atmosphere of a planet that you didn't expect. Whereas a techno signature is more like um, either intentional or unintentional signals that are produced by like an advanced intelligent civilization, such as, well, in my case, we're looking for lasers. Or even if, if a civilization were to build really large structures around their stars um, and we saw it, that would be a techno signature. When and if we answer the question of is there life beyond Earth and what does it look like, you know, that's ostensibly like the goal, but there's a lot of science that happens along the way. 